This is Tony Patel from Whiplash, and you're surfing on Rock Overdose. Ωραία, είμαστε εδώ με τον Τόνι από του Whiplash. Θα μα απαντήσει μερικέ ερωτήσει για το rockoverdose.gr. Hello, Tony, and welcome to Rock Overdose. Yesterday you gave the first show from the tour in Athens. Which are your impressions? Oh, it was very exciting. The crowd was fantastic, and it was nice to start the Power and Pain 2011 tour right here in Greece. We haven't been in Greece, so we would like to come back again, but, you know. Oh. It's probably going to be another year before we get back because we're planning on heading down to uh, South America and towards the end of the year. And there's a few festivals that we have coming up in between now and then. What should the Greek fans expect from your We Plus Live show? Uh, they should expect a lot of energy and a lot of adrenaline flow. And it rubs off on the crowd. You'll see how it reflects off of the stage right back to the crowd. And They just go berserk, and we appreciate that. And I, in fact, I am going to talk to the security today to make sure that they let people stage dive and, okay. and they don't push them off the stage or, or hurt anybody. Because a lot of times that makes it even worse. You know, our fans know to get up on the stage and run and leap off. They they don't stay on the stage, and you don't have 50 people coming on the stage. They keep moving and they jump and they flip and they dive and. And you know, sometimes security is just a little too much. It's more after the show where we need security, you know, so you don't get swarmed by the fans and, and you know, have a more organized, like a uh, photograph signing thing. Otherwise, it gets very overwhelming. But not during the show. They should just stay back and let the fans have a good time. Yeah. You got a new lineup. How is the cooperation with the new members in the band? Oh, it's great. They're, they're very excited. The bass player is Dank DeLong from New York. And uh, he's never been out of the country with any of his previous bands. So uh, last night was a very special night for him. And Dan Ford, uh, uh, he's a very well-experienced uh, drummer who also taught at the Academy of Contemporary Music in London, England, where he's from. And, uh, He's just so professional that uh, it makes it so comfortable for me to play live when you have a drummer that could play like a metronome, not speed songs up or slow them down. It's, it's just like playing along with the record, so it makes me very comfortable. And I can concentrate on my vocals and my live appearance by running around the stage and you know timing it where I get back to the microphone just in time to do vocals again because I don't have to worry about keeping track of the rhythm. I can just He lays that foundation down in that back part where it just makes me so comfortable. It opens up doors for the live show. I understand. Your last album is called Unborn Again. How is it going worldwide? I'm not sure of the sales yet, but uh, I got a feeling it's not going to ever do as good as Power and Pain, and that's why uh, we decided. To, or I decided to go ahead and do the Power of Pain tour 2011 because that was the favorite of most of the Whiplash fans. The favorite album was Power of Pain, so I want to be able to bring that album back to them now. You know, this, the last time that happened was back in 1985. So it's good to you know breathe uh, some fresh air with an old cool style CD that was like, you know, one of the most popular thrash albums back in that time when they consider it like an innovative album. So yeah. I'd like to give that back to the fans. Which your which were your inspirations to make this album? Um this album, well really uh we seen we seen Joe Cangelosi and I seen the metal scene was coming back to life again. And he called me up and said, do you want to, you know, get together and do another album? And I always wanted to do more with Flash stuff and I always invited all of the band members into my studio whenever they were, were willing and ready to come down. But uh, Joe was the one who finally stepped up to the plate and said, let's do it. And I said, I'm there, let's do it, you know, come on. And we did it and we got the album out. And that got us back in the scene again, you know. Now I'm glad I can take it on the road. Right. Let's talk about a little bit of the past. 
in 2002, the bassist of the band, Tony Bono, had a heart attack and passed away. How that has affected the band? Well, Tony was a big part of the band. It'll never be the same. You know, he, he was a very fun guy to hang out with and always had you laughing. You know, it was a good combination with the three of us from the beginning. And, uh, you know, it was very sad that that happened and it was shocking and we never expected anything like that. And uh, it, it really um, took a lot of life out of the band as well, you know. But eventually, you know, we got back together and, and uh, we're making it happen again, you know. You, you'll, you'll never forget Tony Bono and what he contributed to with Flash. But, you know, we have to move on and it's something that Tony Bono would want us to do. Which are the differences between Weplus in the 80s and Weplus today? Um, let's see, really just the uh, band members, I think, because we still have all the energy we had back then. And, uh, and you'll see tonight, you just have to witness it. All right, thank you very much. Uh, what does 2011 has for Weplus? Uh, this, this is going to be a great year for us because we're back out on the road again. And in 2009, we did a bunch of festivals, which was awesome. Vakin and Yala Matali was great. And, uh, and some shows, you know, other shows that weren't festivals that were a lot of fun. We played in Norway and Colombia was fantastic. And Mexico City was great. That was a, a big festival with Uli Roth and Maduro. And a uh, bunch of other really big name bands that was fun. And now we're going to, to play Hellfest next in France with, with every big name band you could think of is on that bill. So it's a lot of fun and we're looking forward to uh, Slaughter by the Water Festival in the San Francisco Bay Area, which is where Thrash was born, you know, with Exodus and Metallica and Megadeth and those bands. And that was the first uh, show that Whiplash ever did was out there in the San Francisco Bay Area. And, uh, you know, I think uh, we're talking about writing some new material now, but uh, we haven't had a chance to start doing that yet. So I think I really want to stay focused on the live show at this point, but uh, probably soon we'll be working on new material. And we we're just talking about re-recording about two-thirds of the Power and Pain album. Uh, studio, not live, but uh, we may release some kind of package with some old songs redone with the new band members and also, uh, you know, some new material, another five or six songs along with it, and maybe picture discs or also somebody I was requesting. All right, Tony, thank you very much for your time and see you on stage. Great, thank you.